everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing the what's in my bag something. I don't know if this is a tag video or if this is just like a hey I like to give away a lot of personal information let's just see what's in my purse. But I'm going to be doing the what's in my bag video so I thought this would be just a quick and easy video to upload if <laughs> it like in the month of December when I might be doing well when I will be doing vlogmas and I might not have any material to upload this will be something I can have on my computer and ready to go. So, this is going to be the what's in my bag, so let's just get started. Okay, so I guess the first thing that we do is we <laughs> show, show and tell our little bag here. So, this is a crossbody bag that I got from Payless. It is by the Payless brand American Eagle, and I got it in this color. I'm going to make sure my battery's not dying. I just picked up this color and this casual looking bag because I wanted something that I could wear every day nothing that I had to dress up just something really simple and plain so it has these two pockets on the front I usually keep my cell phone in there and keys in here and I don't really know you know it may be for a cell phone I'm not sure but that's all I use those pockets for so okay so this is a pretty funny video because I don't keep anything in my purse at all I don't actually uh, I don't use anything that I do keep in a purse I never have so I usually only carry a purse to keep, you know, essentials in. I don't always carry a purse, but when I do, I don't ever use what's in it anyway. So I usually keep a pretty bare purse. However, I have recently put in a makeup bag because uh, probably about a year ago, I got to where I really wasn't wearing any makeup out of the house anymore and then my husband and I would be halfway through running errands or just going out shopping and eating and I'd be like, I really wish I had put on some makeup this morning and I thought, wouldn't it be handy if I had a makeup bag and could just like do a little bit of makeup in the car really quick before we ran into the next store. So I did put some makeup together in a makeup bag and I have recently added to that bag so now it's pretty, pretty much a full makeup bag. I think I'm finished adding everything that I'm going to add to it. So I have like three basic parts to this video and that's what's funny about this video. So this is my wallet. This is a wallet that I bought at Walmart and I, I just bought it because it looks really different in this video but it matches this purse so that's the reason I bought it. And I don't guess there's any point in showing you what's in here. Cards, rewards cards, things like that. It's pretty empty. I don't keep any cash in there obviously because this is my change part and I don't keep any change in there because I don't ever use cash. That's that. Next thing is the makeup bag. This is a makeup bag. I think I bought this bag at Target or Walmart and it's just got a lot of makeup in there. We'll go through that in a minute. The next thing I have is a big mirror. This was actually a lot more than I wanted to pay for. It was at Target and it was $10. And it's just a freaking compact mirror, but whatever. So it has the three or five magnification down here and the regular mirror up here. And I just like to look at myself in there and put on a little makeup sometimes. And I have this watered up receipt because I didn't clean that out yet. I'm gonna do that sometime. I just did it. <laughs> So I have hand sanitizer. I'm not really a germ freak, but every now and then I'm out and I don't have a chance to wash my hands. So I like to keep this in there just in case. And I have dental floss because one time my husband and I were out eating and I got this huge chunk of <laughs> food <laughs> stuck in between my teeth. It was such a big piece of food that it made my teeth ache and I had to get floss right then to get it out. So we were at the mall and there was a Target in that mall and we went. I went down to Target to get floss to get the piece of food out of my tooth. So I thought, you know what, it's probably a good idea to start keeping dental floss in my purse. So I started keeping that in my purse and haven't needed it ever since. Okay, so the next, next thing we're going to get into is the makeup bag since that's the most that I have to show you out of this purse. Um, like I said, I started keeping makeup in my purse because I thought maybe if I'm out and I didn't put any makeup on that day, I might want to apply some really quick. But you know what? I haven't done that ever since I've put this bag together. But I'm going to show you what's in it anyway. It's a lot of stuff. I'm just going to pull everything out one by one and show it to you. So this is an extra Bath & Body Works lotion that I had in my bathroom that I threw in my bag. Just, be, just for fragrance purposes. In case I was out and wanted to put on some fragrance, I'd have some body lotion to rub on. This is the uh, scent Carried Away. Um, I actually already had this bottle and then I accidentally purchased the body cream bottle. 
When I got home, I realized that I had two of these. So I'm like, well, I'll just put this in my makeup bag. So that's why that's in there. This is the Blistex Deep Renewal Lip Balm. And that's just because I like to have a lip balm under my lipstick sometimes, or just a lip balm in general. And that's one of the extras that I had laying around. This I think I specifically bought for my bag. This is just an e.l.f. concealer. <laughs> and I think I bought this for the purpose of, of concealing. Uh, but it also works really well as an eyeshadow primer. So if I'm feeling putting on some eyeshadow and I don't have a primer, I can use that as well. But I think this is also just to spot correct or apply over my red patches and look like I have a little bit of makeup on that day. Um, I bought a, this is a, no, this, I didn't buy this one. This is the e.l.f. Um, eyeliner pencil. And I already had this, so I threw this in the bag as well so that I could have a little bit of eyeliner to put on. This was one, actually I have two. This was my Sephora birthday gift last year. And it was a little duo pack. This one is the Makeup Forever lipstick, and this is the Makeup Forever mascara. Since they're so small and fit perfectly in a makeup bag, I thought they would be perfect to throw in as a lipstick color and a mascara in case I'm out and needs, need either one of those. That's a standard black mascara. This is actually a perfect color of lipstick for me because I always go for that color when I'm wearing lipstick. And it's something that I don't really reach for when I keep it in my bathroom to do my makeup just because it's just, I don't know, it's just small and I just already have in mind what I'm going to wear that day and I, I guess I just forget that I have that one and I never remember to wear that. So I thought it would be great to put my makeup bag. Maybe I'll get some use out of it. Okay, so recently I decided that I did want to go ahead and put an actual perfume scent in the bag and that I had, I actually have a bunch, uh, quite a few of these. Um, in my bathroom from Bath and Body Works, they usually go on sale for four or five dollars, and that's when I'll buy one of these. And then I, that's plenty of perfume for me, and four or five dollars is a great deal. So I'll buy these when I see them on sale. This is in the uh, scent Morocco Orchid in Pink Amber. It smells really good. So that's that's just because I I decided I didn't want to always have the lotion in there. I wanted a little bit of perfume, so I'll put that in there as well. Next thing is another eyeliner. I'm not really sure why I have two eyeliners in here. I think maybe in case I want to do a winged eyeliner because I'm never going to get that advanced in the car. But I guess in case I wanted to do a winged eyeliner, I had this one in there. This is a pencil eyeliner. I don't know, but it's got like a little point to it in case I want to get fancy or something. I'm still trying to see what my camera is doing. This I bought specifically for my bag. I have one of these that I keep in my bathroom. <laughs> oh, this like a needle. I have one that I keep in my bathroom. This is the e.l.f. powder brush. This is a $3 brush, so I just bought another one to keep in my bag. And for that brush, I use this e.l.f. tone correcting powder. And I also bought this specifically for my bag. I think it's $6. And I also have another one of these in my bathroom. These are the only two products that I've ever purchased doubles of to keep in different places, which is kind of stupid to me, but I just, I knew that those were going to be something that I would need in two places at the same time. So I did repurchase those just to put in this bag. This is, this has four, this has like four little colors in there, yellow, pink, green, and wait, blue. <laughs> so um, I just swiped this brush on, on all those colors cover up all of the red on my face. It actually works really well. I want to do a makeup tutorial video where I show you a minimal makeup look or a no makeup makeup look like my specific, what I specifically wear and this is gonna be in it because this is something that I can put on without without needing to take much time to apply it and without needing any preciseness and it covers pretty well. It doesn't cover 100% but it covers well enough that you don't look like you are dead. So I keep that in there as well. And then I have a dry shampoo because I always have oily hair and you can guess why because I'm just going to let you guess why I have oily hair. So um, this is just a little travel size bottle that I bought and I have a comb in here as well. What happens is my bang hair gets really greasy really fast. 
uh, faster than the rest of my hair. So on days that I don't want to wash my whole head just because my bangs are greasy, I will spray a little bit of this on there. And then I usually comb underneath for some reason. So you're supposed to comb it out, so I just comb through it like that. And it gets rid of all the grease stuff. So, <laughs> so that's something really easy that I can do without having to wash my whole head of hair just for a few pieces of hair. This is a taupe eyeliner pencil and I bought this for my eyebrows because there are going to be times that I might want to do my makeup where obviously I want to fill in my brows too. So I, a pencil works really well for me so I just bought a pencil for that. I actually need to add a brow wand in here so that I can comb through because this any kind of pencil for me that I've used so far leaves a few clumps behind and I find that if I use a brow wand it will either take those crumbs out or just smooth them over so that it, uh, they don't look clumpy or anything. They're just nice and filled in. The last thing I have in my bag here is a lipstick. This I added in there from my lipstick collection that I have in my bathroom. This is just a Revlon lipstick. I don't think it's anything specific. It's the Revlon Color Burst Lip Butter in the shade Berry Smoothie. And this is just another shade. I don't know why I feel like I needed both of these colors. They are very similar in shade. But I just thought, uh, I really don't know. <laughs> I think they are pretty much the same color. If they were different colors, that would make sense. I think they are pretty much similar in color, so I'm not really sure why I threw this in there, but just to have another lipstick, I guess. So, that is everything in my bag. Most of it's makeup, and, you know, all of it is stuff that I don't use besides my wallet, but that's my makeup bag. I mean, that's my purse, my bag, whatever you want to call it. So, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Comment below. Let me know if any of these items are in your purse besides the wallet. I'm pretty sure we all have one of those. Let me know if any of these are your go-to products or just anything that I might be interested in knowing about you. And that's it. Now I'm going to put everything back in my purse. Thanks for watching. Bye.